What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight Team Stand Up! All flight, no fear. August is here. We got NBA 2K23 news. Now, apparently this morning, they uh, uh 2K, they put out like a new gameplay blog and information and news and new badges and all the new information like that, man. As we do every single year, man, we're going to uncover this. We got a two-in-one video. We got Christmas is waiting on us. You know what I'm saying? The first one, then we got Shakedown 2012 giving us the breakdown of everything. If you guys don't know, I, uh, I know Shakedown 105% went to the 2K community event that they last hosted like about a couple of weeks ago. Like it's weird. <coughs> they invited like three people from the 2K community and they invited just like like regular, like, you know, random a actors and, you know what I'm saying? Like people that don't, like they're, they're regular game players. They don't really, really play the game like that. You know what I'm saying? So if the game ain't up to par as what it's supposed to be, you gotta think Ronald and Mike Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Because... Them dudes is, you know, I, I, you know, look, honestly, they sit by themselves at lunch when they was growing up. So that's all what you need to understand when it comes to, like, you know, how to properly market certain things. But with that being said, man, we're going to give our thoughts and everything about that. And if this helps change your decision on anything with 2K, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if you guys decide to buy it or not. 2K has Check released a gameplay blog detailing all the changes for NBA 2K23. First, the badge system for your players are going to change. Really? There's going to be 16 been... badges per attribute category. Wow. Now, one thing I did want to say before I continue, I did hear on Twitter, and I'll change my thoughts if I'm wrong. Apparently, unfortunately, it's looking like current gen is going to be the move once again this year when it comes to the park and my career um, type of gameplay. Hopefully, next gen changes. That There's way. eight in tier one, four in tier two, and four in tier three. Tier 1 badges are not going to be that strong, but you're going to need Tier 1 in order to get up to Tier 2 badges wow. in Tier 3. You need a certain amount of the lower tier badges to move up the list. They say in the blog the reason they're doing this is they want us to make tough decisions when creating our badge recipes in Loadout. So they basically just want us to just stay on the game a lot more longer. We get it. <laughs> They're also going to introduce core really? badges. It's four unique badge slots. Okay. One in each attribute category that can be filled with badges that don't count towards your badge points. And each of these badges are going to have a challenge requirement. Once it's met, then it's going to allow you to place that core badge in a slot. So it sounds like the build is going to be a lot more complex. You could say maybe this is filler. You're going to have to use badge points on things you don't really want just to get the higher tier things to activate. So maybe that's going to balance out the game more. So here's a list of badges and some badges they've removed. For finishing, you've got Slithereeds coming back. That makes it easier to gather through traffic, avoiding collisions and strips. The Masher Badge increases Masher. the ability to finish inside layups over defenders. Ooh. Aerial Wizard... Aerial is the wizard. ability to successfully complete alley-oops and putbacks. Okay. Bully, like Giannis and LeBron, ability to finish strong by bulldozing through traffic. And then it says they remove the hook specialist badge. For shooting, they have the Agent 3 badge, ability to hit difficult threes off the dribble. Midi Magician is the improved ability to knock down mid-range jumpers off the bounce or out of the post like MJ. Amped reduces the shooting attribute penalties when fatigued wow. and when moving excessively prior to shooting. So here we go. They're, we're going to talk about how they had this new dribble system. But look at that. They have a badge that's going to help you with fatigue with scoring. So that might not even matter. Claymore increases the spot up shooter's ability wow. to knock down catch and shoot jumpers. Claymore the longer they Clay remain Thompson. stationary. Prior to shooting, they've got a camping badge out here. <laughs> Comeback Kid badge. Improved ability to shoot perimeter jumpers when trailing in a game. Hand down, man down badge. Jeez. Makes an outside shooter even deadlier if opponent fails to get a hand in the face. Hey, I like that. Space Creator, formerly a playmaking badge, it is now a shooting badge that boosts the ability to hit step back jumpers and hop shots and will cause defenders to stumble more often. Limitless range, an old time favorite returns, making shooters more effective with any shot attempt from deep three point range. And here are the badges they removed in the shooting category. 
Chef, Hot Zone Hunter, Lucky Seven, Mismatch Expert. It got moved to Playmaking that badge. Oh. Set Shooter, Sniper gets removed, and Limitless Spotter also gets removed. The Playmaking badges, they have Killer Six. Combos, improves the dribbler's effectiveness with size up dribble moves. It's basically a combination of la See, that's like, why are they doing that, bro? Because if you guys know, I'm usually a playmaking point guard. So it's like, I always used to have sharpshooter, catch and shoot. He just said that they're taking that out this year the Quick game. chain why? and tight handles badge. They have a clamp breaker. Uh-oh. Helps Man, ball handlers man. win more one-on-one -on -one body bump confrontations. This is the counter to clamps. Here we go. Uh-oh. Vice grip. Improves ball security immediately after securing a rebound, catch, or picking up the ball. This is a great badge for bigs. It's about time. I like that. Mismatch expert. Formerly a shooting badge. This badge now helps smaller guards break down taller defenders when mismatch one-on-one. Hey, I like that. Let's go. Remove badges. Bullet passer. Bullet downhill. Passer. Glue hands and stop and go. Mike Wayne did say that Bullet Passer is now tied to your passing accuracy rating. Here are the defense and rebounding badges. Anchor, a crucial badge for last line of defense bigs. It improves the ability to block and contest shots in the paint. Box out beast. It helps rebounders win box out battles on both offense and defensive rebounding situations. Okay. Workhorse. The Patrick Beverly badge that boosts your ability. So it's to like every year they keep taking out the badge with Patrick Beverly just calling it something. Hustle down 50 50 balls you and that. play hard nose defense without getting tired. Glove, named after legendary defender Gary Payton, helps you strip players as they gather for shots and poke the ball free from ball handlers. Challenger, improves the effectiveness of perimeter shot contest. Remove badges are defensive leader. Team Takeover has been redesigned. Now the entire team has to contribute to the meter. It can't just be one guy going off that gets Team Takeover. Everybody's got to put in something. Each player wow. has an equal portion okay. of the meter that they have to fill up. It's weird because I honestly just realized, like, most of the time, like, I've noticed it in my team. Like, the quickest way to get a, a player on fire is if, like, you score, like, two or three shots in a row. You have to pass the ball. You get a block. You know what I'm saying? You get a steal. Once sale, each player you fills know, it up. Then Team Takeover automatically fires off for the entire team. There is a new pro stick. There's now going to be combos of gestures that you have to do to pull off specific moves. The way it works, sometimes you've got to flick the stick in one direction, then let go of the stick, then flick it back in the same direction. And other times you got to flick it, let's say, to the right, let it reset, then flick it to the left, the opposite ah, direction. Okay to pull off different dunks, different layups, different I mean, they shots. usually always have it like that. For dunking, they've got a new mat for the dunk meter, different directions you have to use the right stick in. If you hold it up, you're gonna do a two-handed dunk. If you hold it to the right, you do a strong-handed dunk. Left is a weak-handed dunk, and down is a rim hang. Then if you go up, up, you're gonna do a flashy two-handed dunk. If you go down, up, you up, do up. a flashy one hand dunk. If you go up down on the right stick, you're gonna Oh, it looks like you gotta press more buttons now, bro. Normal stick. And then you probably gotta time it. And if you go down down on the right stick, that will trigger a ring hang skill dunk with the meter. For finesse moves for slashers, a double throw gesture is used for hop steps, while switchbacks are used for Euro steps and cradle layups. I'm not quite sure what to think of all these new gestures. Is this unnecessary? Is that right stick going to be responsive? They're saying they made these changes so that you can do what you're supposed to do, what you want to do. But with all those gestures... Well, I do remember, it was like two two k's ago, maybe two or... Yeah, two two k's ago. You were literally able to like time where you wanted if you wanted to do a left-handed layup and a right-handed layup. Now it seems like they just do it randomly in a direction where you want it, but you don't get to choose the hand. I feel like they're giving you more options. I think you're going to go into the paint sometimes and do moves you didn't want to do because maybe it doesn't register the double up or the switch back or whatever. So who knows how that's going to work out. This could be good or it could be a fail. Whoa. We'll just have to wait and they see. Said a fail. All of these gestures are going to be there for dribbling as well. 
So now, when you have signature moving crossovers, the options are going to go from 15 different moves that you can do out of your crossovers up to 28, depending on how you're using the gestures. It's going to depend on the speed of the gestures, so you're going to have to learn all that stuff. But now you're going to have dedicated crossover and hesitation combos coming out of your signature packages. That's wild. But this is what I like about the dribbling. They're saying that your energy is going to deplete much quicker when spamming too many moves together. I mean, they, they, they even always have a clip that, on their blog of. that shows the stamina meter. Lonzo oh, volleys over. Oh, we got some like gameplay. Okay, I didn't know they had some gameplay with the dribbling. Team. And when he loses that stamina, that's what should happen, bro. But it's gonna be tough because now I don't know if we're gonna be able to string those crossovers together like we were able to. His dribbles become really slow. He starts stumbling. The only thing is, are they actually going to keep it this way? Because we know that when the game comes out and people start trying to spam dribbles and it doesn't work, they're going to complain. Well, if they have a badge, they should be able to spam it as much as they want. Like, if you're an actual ankle breaker badge, you should be able to go longer than what other How people How long are. before they patch it and put it right back to where it was? Also, are they going to have any badges... That helps yeah, this with game looks hella different a little. The dribbling you can sound tell already. Like handles it's always a game. camera that they have them, but I guarantee if they had it in a 2K angle, it it's looks right. a hella different. They say bro. they want to do stuff like this, but then they'll have a badge that makes it easier to do what they claim they don't want you to do. Now, if you look at that Lonzo Ball clip, though, you'll see that under the meter, there's going to be three bars. They now have adrenaline boost, and you're going to get this. You're going to get three of those boosts per player, per possession. Those three small meters, those boosts are going to be consumed every time you perform a hard go or explosive sprint launch. Wow. Once your three boosts are gone, you'll notice that your speed and acceleration decrease significantly for the remainder of the possession. But if you look at the Lonzo clip, it never goes down. He didn't explode, though. So it's a good concept, but since you're going to get that every possession per player, maybe it won't actually drain the stamina that much. Because it seems like having three of those boosts is going to be more than enough. Because normally when people over dribble, they don't explode that many times. They over dribble and then they'll finally go by you. But you're going to have three boosts, three explosions per possession. So I don't know if that actually makes a difference. Three I guess we'll just have to see how it works. What? Just thinking about it, I would say they should only give you one explosion per possession. If they really wanted to prevent that type of dribbling. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Fast. 2K has changed signature jump shots. There's going to be four unique shooting stats that determine your effectiveness of shooting. Shot speed, which is how quickly the shot gets to its ideal release point. Release height is how high the shot is released. Defensive immunity is how effective the shot is against defensive contest. And then timing impact adjust the shot windows to reward good timing at the cost of an increased penalty for bad timing. Wow. They've added a bunch of new jump shooting animations and they're going to be gated by shooting rating. So you're going to have to play around with all the options to figure out what works best for your skill set and the playing style. 2K has also added five new jump shot meters to choose from and there's going to be 15 more that can be unlocked through seasons. So seasons are coming back. Okay. Shot feedback and green animations are going to be delayed. They want to wait until the ball hits the I rim. I heard about that. I like that. I like how the green is going to be delayed, so you can't really tell you if you got to get the rebound or not. The feedback and before your player does that. his green animation. One new mechanic about passing is if you hold circle or B, mm -hmm. your player is going to spot up for a shot. So they're going to make a V cut, come back out to catch, oh. and then shoot to set their feet. So that sounds interesting. I Can't like wait. that. I ain't gonna lie because there's sometimes I'll be actually having the icon on for so long, and then like the time frame, I don't have enough time to click off the icon by the time the defender rotates back, and I could have been shot the ball. Let's see how that works. They're trying to improve the shot contest, so this year they're gonna take your defensive player's contesting hand throughout a window of the shooting motion to determine the success of that contest. The longer you're able to be there with your contest in the shooting motion, the better your chance of making that offensive player miss the shot. Okay. For on-ball defense, they're bringing back a feature of the pass, a new defensive shading mechanic. This used to be in earlier 2Ks. There's going to be three bars on the indicator of a defensive player, 
that are going to show whether you're going to play straight up defense, whether you're going to shade to the left or to the right. So basically, you can say, I'm not going to let this man go right. I'm going to shade myself right, and it's going to help you force him to use his other hand. So that's a nice feature. We haven't had that since the game used to have automatic defense where it would do all the defense for you. So it doesn't sound like it's going to do that. But if you're shading and the offensive player runs into your shade, you're going to force him to stumble. It's going to have a reaction for the offensive player. Here's a great feature. Your animations are going to be a count bound, meaning that when you're making a player and you buy an animation, you only have to buy it once. You don't have to nice. buy it every single time you make a new player. That's that is fine. a major dub. It's Finally. about time that they do that, right? That's going to save a lot of money, a lot of VC. You Not buy that Ronald and Mike Wayne it. care about Hopefully it. the <laughs> prices don't go crazy high, though, since they're going to let it buy it once and be done high. with it. This was a really long blog. I went over most of the changes, but I didn't go over everything. So link ah, is going to be in the description okay. if you want to read That's it all for yourself. That's what a lot of this stuff sounds good, but we know that 2K gamers start complaining and then 2K starts patching. patching. So yep. you can see their intentions, the direction they're trying to take the gameplay. But can they survive the complaining in the first few weeks? Will they just change it back to what we're used to after a month of gameplay like we're so used to seeing them do? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you think. All right, oh, all the man Shakedown 2012 in this bid. Now, if you guys didn't know, Shakedown actually went to the event himself. So he's this is actually coming from the horse's mouth of somebody that's seen the game and played everything up front and everything like that, man. So what up, Shout out to Shakedown, man. Today, OG in the community. A huge bombshell that's of the man right there. On the community with today's courtside report number one. It's all about gameplay. We're going to dive into the details. But keep in mind, this is only part one of a two-part series because there was just too much information to put into one video. Oh, okay. So without further ado, let's dive into this information. Okay. Hey, so man, we, we back go. on the re I remember if you guys remember, we just reacted to Shakedown's uh, top 10 players. We back on that this year. 2K is we saying that, that like authenticity 20, like was the goal for both old to, uh, and new gen. That's current and next gen for some of you guys. 2K23 shows love to slashers. We've got all new controls that involve mm. double tapping the right. So it looks like being a slasher is going to be OP this year. This creates new weapons for shooting and ball handling. And meter skill dunks make a return for 2K23. Take a look at some of these commands. If you push up, you get a two-hand dunk. Right ah, so this, this one looks a lot more like explain and in-depth. Okay. Strong hand. Okay. Left is your weak hand. Down is rim hang. Up up is a flashy two hand. Down up is a flashy one hand. Flicking the right stick up down does a normal skill dunk with the meter. And flipping the right stick down down is a rim hang skill dunk with the meter. Yes, you can hang on the rim in 2K23. The left stick controls your swinging and the right stick pulls you up on the rim. This is not a canned animation. You totally control those animations. Although this is fun for the city, you'll definitely get a tech in NBA games. You can also finesse your way to the rack. Really? They said they give out a tech if you hang on the rim too long in the game. Whoa. If you release the spray, hey, they need to you add a flavor foul the right button. stick for hop step lays. Double tap the right stick left right for euros and cradle lays. You can hold the right stick left or right for scoop lays. Those are great for avoiding blocks. There's also new contact lays. We saw that in the first look trailer. And as expected, there are a bunch of new layup packages. We've got Devin Booker, Joel Embiid, Allen Iverson, Magic Johnson, Nikola Jokic, Zach Levine, John Morant, Sue Bird, Diana Taurasi, and more. For you post players, double tap the right stick for drop steps and hop shots. Double tap the right stick left to right for shimmy and hook shots. We've got all new dribble controls. Moving crossover signature package has grown from 15 to now 28 moves. So there's a whole bunch of new animations for doing quick moving crossovers. The speed of your stick throws and timing is important now. Rapid double taps of the right stick will give you the new combos. Flicking the right stick back and forth repeatedly gives you new signature combo. Wow. There are all new attacking size ups. They provide better side to side movement. And let me remind you, this is not speed boosting left to right. These are like quick crossover boom boom animations. Your energy will deplete much quicker when spamming too many moves. 
So yeah, it's important we were to be just efficient about that. and not play with your food too long. So you just can't Everybody experiment. Everybody has a new adrenaline boost. I guess you're gonna take away some of the wannabe ISO dribblers in the park. This prevents over dribbling. There are three boosts per player per possession. They're shown as three small bars under the stamina meter. These boosts are consumed every time you perform a hard go or an explosive sprint launch. Once they're gone, your speed and acceleration decrease significantly for that possession. The key is efficiency. No more left riding. We've got all new authentic shooting. Signature jump shots have shooting stats to help determine effectiveness. You've got shot speed, release height, defensive immunity, and timing impact. There are now over double the amount of shot animations to choose from. Wow. And my player's shot animations are gated by shooting ratings. And check this out. We've got new shot meters and feedback. There are five new shot meters to choose from. You've got big, small, above the head, side, and below the shooter. They're more like the 2K17 to 2K20 shot meters. Okay. And you still get a boot. Hey, he just literally gave us a hint right here, bro. I told you guys this game is could be close resemblance of 2K16 and 17. The first 2K he named was 2K17. Shooting if you choose not to use the meter. And then the other two, well, 2K18 was trash. I mean, so it's like, it's, a, it's a big releases. You know what so I'm saying? If you see a high um, arc, you know it was an early shot. If you see a flat arc, you know it was a late shot. If it's on time, that it was the ideal shot. arc. Okay. Shot feedback delays timing coverage info and green release animations until the ball hits the rim. This is to create more drama and it also reduces cherry picking. Now on to passing. My players can equip new signature passing styles. We really? got Magic Johnson, Jason Williams, LeBron James to name a few. Oh, they got signature passing. It's about time. Take gameplay. Oh, they got There's Curry's a new passing there now. system that evaluates the defense nah, that's hard. player's contesting hand throughout a window of the shooting motion. So now shot contests are going to be determined by how well your hand is actually affecting the shot. There's a new defensive shading indicator on the ball handler when guarding a position. This shading indicator works in the post too. It's designed to help you get a better read when predicting which way the ball handler is going. Shot blocking is more realistic. No more small guards pulling off LeBron-like chase downs. Finally, you got thank more you. ball security for good dunkers. So the higher the dunk rating, the harder it is for defenders to track the ball while you're trying to dunk on them. Tomahawks and back scratchers are back. There's less chances for the ball to get knocked out on the way up. So it's not like you can't block dunks like in 2K21. You can with good defenders, okay. but now it's not overly excessive like it was in 22 where everybody was blocking dunks. There are new flyby blocks to prevent defenders from fouling shooters. And there's also better sideline awareness during scramble plays. That's gonna be big because 2K22 was lacking in those sideline animations. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the hey, comments man, section. Hey man, what you guys think about 2K23? I feel like we've told you everything you guys needed to know and find out about everything, man. Are you guys gonna be copying the game as soon as it comes out, the first day of the release, the most expensive version, or are you gonna wait a little bit? As you man, tell me about the last tracks you make, man. On the road to five.